F-150 pickup truck is the best-selling vehicle in the world. It has been since it was first introduced 40 years ago. In fact, Ford sells so many of these trucks it could sustain itself as its own brand. The F-150 has certainly evolved over the years. That is especially evident when you climb up behind the wheel of the 2018 F-150 4x4 Super Crew Platinum Edition as we do this week with Harvey Briggs. This is the F-150 Platinum, so I like to call it the boss's truck. We've got leather seats, We've, and not just leather seats, but we have heated and cooled massaging yes, leather Yes, I'm seats. enjoying my massage right now. I'm glad. Hold on a minute. A pickup truck with cooled massaging seats? That ain't no real pickup truck. Well, yeah, it is, sort of. The Ford F-150 starts around $28,000 for a six-cylinder rear-wheel drive. This Platinum Super Crew version... You've got five liters of good old-fashioned Detroit V8 muscle. Runs a bit more than $28,000. This one, as is with every safety feature known to modern vehicles, a panoramic sunroof, 360 surround cameras, self-parking, a plus for a vehicle this size, and perhaps the nicest interior anyone has ever seen in a truck will all set you back $63,800. So this is a very nice pickup truck, so this one might not work as hard as a base F-150, you know, with uh, without the fancy paint and the really nice wheels and all that stuff, but it can do anything you want it to do. You can put over 2,000 pounds of stuff in this bed and drive around and tow 11,000 pounds worth of boat or trailer or whatever else you have behind it. So essentially what we have is a $64,000 truck that's basically a luxury car capable of towing 11,000 pounds. People who are trading in luxury cars like BMWs and Mercedes-Benz for these highly appointed pickup trucks, people like the utility of it, like the idea of having the utility and capability even if they use it once in their lifetime. That's a long way up here. Yeah, it's a small oh, vehicle. Oh, there but, we go. Uh, Little assist. Right there, ready to help you. You've got a lovely little step. The old man stick. That's it. Uh, for us old guys, it helps us get to where we need to be. So that's why they make this F-150 with equal doses of tech stuff and truck stuff made for a guy's guy or a woman's guy or, or something like that. If it's who I am and who I see myself as, as that guy who's always willing to help and lend a hand, and believe me, if you own a pickup truck, you will be asked to help your friends a lot. <laughs> Probably more friends than you you had. Exactly. I got a few calls this weekend. I had to move a grill and a motorcycle. So, <laughs> Harvey, what a guy. So that's the secret behind the F-150. No matter what you're after, a basic truck for work, a high-end family cruiser, or something somewhere in the middle, the F-150 has a trim and engine to fit your needs. Just don't bring up the word Chevy. A lot of brand loyalty with pickup trucks, isn't there? There is. I've actually seen people get into fistfights over Ford versus Chevy. So, um, you know, people are passionate about their trucks, and when they get in a truck they like, and if it doesn't let them down, they're going to stick with it. That's why it's a really important category for the manufacturers, because it's a, it's a very loyal fan base, and it's a highly profitable vehicle for them. A vehicle like this will return three times the amount of profit as a mid-sized sedan will to the company. And especially profitable, loaded up like the Platinum. And now, where's the testosterone boost? <laughs> <laughs> that just comes when you push this button and hear that V8 roar. <laughs> It's a lot of truck. It is a Harvey's lot of here truck. now, and if you want one of these, you might have a problem finding them. Well, actually, you won't have a problem finding them now. They do have plenty in inventory, but because of a fire at one of their supplier factories, they're having trouble getting a special magnesium part that connects the engine and the uh, radiator together. Um, and actually, it's not just Ford that's having this problem. It has shut down uh, factories, three of the four F-150 factories, but also Mercedes-Benz, Fiat Chrysler, BMW. 
BMW, they're all having trouble getting parts for some of their cars now because of this uh, fire in that factory. Oh, wow. Now, you drive a sedan, so I'm curious how you thought it felt well, driving. Well, way up. I didn't drive it, but you're, you're <laughs> this is a big truck. I mean, yeah. does it drive like a truck? Or no, it, no. It, it drives very much like a car now. You're very, uh, the handling is, it, it, it's not that sort of buckboard feel that you used to have in the old trucks. There's a lot of sound insulation in these great power steering. Um, so, you, you know, they, you get in and, yeah, it's big, but once you get used to that size, it's very easy to drive. And they go from 28,000 to this? There's like yeah. six engines? Or? Six engine options. They have a new diesel engine coming out that I just drove. A lot of torque in that. That's going to be a really great option for people who like to tow. Things. No slowing down the F-150. No, that, that truck will keep going and going and going as long as Ford can ride it. <laughs> <laughs> and make it at this point. Yeah, exactly. All right, Harvey. Thank you. Next time we're doing... Volvo XC60, which was just named the World Car of the Year. So we'll be driving that one around uh, a little later on. Looking forward to that. Great. Don't have to climb into it. No. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Harvey. Thanks, Harvey. Thank Good you. to see you. We'll be right back with the...